What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to uh, the channel. It's your boy Big Dog with another one take review. Got a review for um. I hope this ain't rubbing up against my shirt. We got a review for uh, Cloak and Dagger, Viking King, Viking Town Sound. That's nice. Nice. And uh, yo, this this was I think might have been the best episode of Cloak and Dagger in 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 a weird way. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of watch the show for, like, you know, it's Cloak and Dagger. It's kind of it's comic book. You know what I'm saying? You watch it for, like, the superhero stuff. But I think this episode really, like, tackles some, like, some real-life stuff that goes on in the world. And, like, in such a authentic way. You know what I'm saying? And to, to where you're watching it and you, and you like, completely, completely engulfed in, like, what's going on. And, like, like when I'm watching this, it's, it was just like a... a, a I, I was just still, you know, that I, I was so in tune into everything that was going on. Because, leave off, we, we have, they've captured Tandy. Andre and uh, his girl, they've captured, captured Tandy. You know, they pretty much like putting up in, in like this, ho this, this hotel. And she, Tandy meets one of the other girls. And she's like, and you can tell just by how this girl acts. It's like, she's... Go, her, 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 all hope and everything she thought was possible is gone. You know what I'm saying? Every, every in the dream she might have had, everything is gone. Cause she, when she tells Tanda, like, "Yo, you just do what they say," you know what I'm saying? You get everything you need, and Tanda's like, "What the hell are you talking about? Like, leave!" And the woman opens the door, like, "Yo, I think her name was Brenda. Even if her name wasn't Brenda, her name gonna be Brenda for the sake of this review, cause I can't think of the girl, the young girl's name." And like, she like leave, and like the girl didn't go nowhere. And then when Tanda tried to run away, she told on her because it's like. It's hypnotized her to where it's like, no, this is where you need to be. This is your purpose. There's nothing else out there in the world for you. Because we introduced the stuff of Andre and what he's able to do and take away people's hopes and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and only bring them despair, you know, or bring the, the, the despair out of them. Uh, that's, what, that's what pretty much left of them, a shell of themselves, you know what I'm saying? So now they think, that now she thinks like this, or she's trapped, or maybe her, she thinks like, no, this is what I should be doing. And it, it's crazy, because the only thing you have to do is touch somebody to get in, and then he throws on a record. And we see how, I think it, this was a much better understanding as to how his power works. He takes, you know what I'm saying, something, and he puts on a record or memory they have, and then he puts on another one, just like something that, that would mess it up because we saw how at the end of this week kids of Vita's aunt was like he she said because he basically like yo tell me your and I loved hold on before I get to that I loved how she entered uh when he went there and she like I'm I'm connected as well you know what I'm saying but but he knows like oh man this is this, if she knows this and like I, I just know where I'm gonna get away with this I have to get rid of her and so she puts on her he tells her like put on her put on your favorite memory because that was all that was gonna be it she puts on her favorite memory and he was gonna kill her but he kills her in a way because when he puts on her heart and he slows down her heartbeat and stops it so he kills her and mayhem could have stopped him but she told mayhem to not to not do it because it's like if mayhem would expose herself you know what I'm saying? Maybe she would have got called and then they would have never been able to destroy all the records. You know what I'm saying? Stop him from doing what he's doing. But back to the in the hotel. Because uh, all of it, before that, before I go back to the in the hotel, we did it with Tyrone. Because Tyrone meets Andre and, and Andre touched Tyrone. Like, he, he puts him through a little despair until Mayhem is able to change the record. Uh, and Tyrone knows, like, something isn't right. But she puts, uh, when Mayhem puts on the ambulance, it's like, Okay, that's where that that's where it happened to Tandy. Tandy's in the ambulance. He kind of connected to that. It's like his own little detective work. And uh, I liked how when like it's crazy because when Tandy got recaptured and like she couldn't feel anything, she just had to sit there. And then you have guys coming in like this is really tack it tackled like human trafficking in such a real way and in, in such a mature way as well you know, that you don't really see in like most. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say most because I think the genre, is, uh, the superhero genre, has changed quite a bit, and I think it's a lot more mature than what it was, or, or what people took it as, or perceived it to be. But the when the, the way they tackle it is very, very mature in this episode, because like the guy comes in, he just lays the money on the counter. Tandy can't move, 
So he's pretty much, you no, know, he's definitely he's about to rape her because she can't do anything. She can't move. You know what I'm saying? And then, but Tandy also broke through to Brenda. And Brenda looked in uh, the guy's phone and realized, like, yo, my parents have been looking for me. Like, I, like, I'm not what I thought. Like, I thought my parents didn't care. I thought, you know what I'm saying? You, you led me to believe so many things. You led me to believe if I leave here, I would, I would die. And when, like, Tandy was like, no, those girls who escaped, they didn't die. I, I rescued them. Me and a friend rescued them. It's like, so everything she's been told is a lie. It's kind of like they've been, been manipulating these girls this whole time just so they can get them to do what they want them to do. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Basically selling them off, which is horrible. You know what I'm saying? And so when Brenda gets the hope, because Tandy needed someone to have hope, no one had it. All their hope was taken away, but then when she finally said, like, no, my parents still love me. I can I can go home. I, there, there's other things for me than this. That hope broke through the Tandy, and Tandy was able to break out. And by the same time, Tyrone pulls up on the set. Tyrone not mad. Like, he was out there fighting a big dude, big black dude. And then the guy, one of the dopest shots I think they've ever had in the show is when the guy throws Tyrone, and Tyrone... Basically, like, he, he's getting through, but he appears back behind the guy. So the force that the guy threw him with is actually coming back to him and telling him, like, lays him out. Like, this was a this was an excellent episode, and I love how when they, they end up meeting in the middle. Even though Tanda was chopping through walls and break, busting through walls like Batman and BVS, which, like, came out the wall and grabbed the... Uh, the, uh, the, the the therapist or whatever the lady name is, he grabs. I'm like, damn, Teddy, I using some strength this episode. But I, I thought this episode was phenomenal, like phenomenal. I think this was had to be the best episode. You know, it might not be my favorite, but I think this definitely was the best episode of Cloak and Dagger, the way that they did the storytelling. Then, uh, 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 Tandy and uh, 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 Tyrone connecting again at the end. Then. Something happens to Tyrone. I don't know what the hell started happening to Tyrone. Like, maybe he overuses powers, or, or maybe it's because, like, the stuff that's going on inside of him, uh, like inside the shadow, the darkness, or I don't know. But it's, it's, it's weird to say I'm kind of hoping what, I really want to know what happens and what's really going down because it seems like they're going to travel into there. Her and uh, 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 Agent, what, what is her, what, her name is escaping me, uh, the, the detective. O'Reilly, you know what I'm saying? When they both hurt Tandy and O'Reilly gonna go into like the, him and like see what's going on, but Mayhem's there and she's probably gonna take him. So it's, it, who knows what the hell's about to happen? But I, I really, really enjoyed this episode, you guys. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch up with you guys later.